In this lecture, you'll learn about Flex Clone, which is an on-tap feature that allows you to make space-efficient clones of your volumes. A Flex Clone volume is, as the name suggests, a clone of another volume. It appears in the storage system as, and can be managed as, a separate volume. So you're going to have that original parent volume that you're going to make the clone of. When you do make the clone, that clone that you've created will show up as a separate volume on the volumes page in System Manager, and you can manage it as a normal volume there. It initially consists of the same data as its parent volume, the data that was in the parent volume at the time that the clone was made. But changes can be made to the Flex clone volume and also to the parent after the clone has been made. Multiple clones can be taken of the same parent volume and Flex clones are typically used for application test and development. So with this, you're going to have the original parent volume you want to do some testing or development of the data that is in there, you can take multiple flex clones of that original parent volume and you can take as many, or make as many different changes as you want there. The way that this works is that a snapshot is taken of the parent volume and used as the basis for the clone. And because they're based on a snapshot, Flex clone volumes can be created nearly instantaneously and they initially take up no storage space. Because it uses a snapshot, it shares the same characteristics as a normal snapshot does. Only changes which are made to the Flex clone volume after you've created it take up this space. So just like with our normal snapshots, it's only when we make changes to the active file system that they start to take up space. It's the same with our Flex clone volumes. This is much better than the traditional way of application test and development, where a copy of the original data is copied to new blocks on disk. That requires waiting for the copy to complete, and it also takes up double the disk space for every copy. With FlexClone, we are not copying data to new blocks on disk. We just take a snapshot of that, so it's just pointers rather than a new copy, so it happens immediately and it doesn't take up any space on disk when the flex clone is first created. So let's have a look and see what this is going to look like with a diagram. A little point to make here, the flex clone volume is created in the same aggregate as the parent volume. So you can see here we've got vol x in this example which is the parent volume and then we take a clone of that which is the volume x clone. When the clone is first taken we will just have these blue blocks here which are shared between the parent and the child and we just have a single copy of the blocks on disk. After the flex clone has been taken, we can make changes to the Volex parent. You can see those in the green blocks on the left here. We can also make changes to the clone. You can see those changes in the yellow blocks on the right. So when it's first taken, we're going to have those shared blocks. Any changes after that are going to be written to new blocks on disk for both volumes. One of the use cases of using Flex Clone is if you have an application using the ONTAP storage and you want to do some kind of update or upgrade to that application, but you're worried that doing so might cause an issue which would require you to roll back to before that. Well, what you could do there is you could take a flex clone of the volume before you do the update and then do the update and then check that everything is working okay. Once you were happy that everything is working okay and you don't need to do a rollback, then what you would do is you would split the flex clone volumes. So when you split the flex clone volumes, it makes that child volume its own complete volume. It's not going to be sharing the blocks anymore. So you can see here, these shared blocks, that which were previously shared, there's now going to be two separate instances of them. They're not going to be shared anymore. So because you have split the flex clone volume, you're happy with the new volume that, volume that you created. You're happy that the update is fine. It didn't cause any problems. So now you can work from this new volume and you can retire the old one. If you hadn't split the flex clone volume, then you wouldn't have been able to retire the old one because of those shared blocks. 
Okay, so that's splitting flex clone volumes. And the last thing to tell you is you can also clone a file or LUN which is inside a volume or Q3. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.